You're listening to The Peach Pit. I'm here with none other than Sid and Robert from the band Lotus from Pune, India. Their debut EP just came out. It's called Emergence. It came out on June 11th. And if you love good instrumental music, I'm thinking about people who are fans of like Animals as Leaders or Cloud Kicker, then you definitely need to check out this four-track EP filled with just great instrumental music. Sid, Robert, welcome to The Peach Pit. Hey, Derek, thank you for having us over here. This is Robert. Hey, Derek, thank you so much for uh, this opportunity and the session. And uh, we're really glad to do this with you. Perfect. Uh, thank you so much for you guys. I was really happy to talk to you. This is after hearing the music, I was like, this is this is awesome. I have to talk to these guys. So uh, I don't I really don't know much about the band. So do you both play guitar or what, what instruments do you bring? So uh, when Lotus started out, it was primarily me and Siddharth as, uh, I mean, it still is only me and Siddharth right now. Um, but we started off as both guitar players and I am also a bass player. So it was just both of us sitting and uh, writing the music and we do bits and, uh, bits and chunks of each. You know what I mean? Like he would help in composing guitar and bass and I would do guitar and bass. And we would primarily write the uh, rhythm uh, sections of the music and uh, go to a producer, uh, get everything ar arranged and done up, uh, fine tuned. And then eventually now we have gotten to a point where we've started releasing music. So you're both... Uh... Did you both start on guitar as, was that your first instruments? So, uh, yeah, I have uh, always been really fascinated with uh, the guitar. And uh, uh, the first time I met Robert also was, you know, uh, we kind of discussed about the idea of, you know, jamming over some common influences that we both had at the time. And uh, luckily, you know, we both listened to a lot of the similar style of music and uh, uh yeah so essentially we have were both we still are both guitar players and guitar is still the main uh, i would say the source of music for lotus you know but uh, over the course we've kind of you know um, expanded our own sound and uh, started listening to so much different types so many types of music you know uh, that's out there and now it's just a matter of you know you know condensing your inspirations and uh, uh, you know, letting music flow through you. So yeah, music definitely, guitar is like a main part or a main focus of Lotus. And uh, it's been a very uh, long, uh, you can say evolution of us, you know, we've kind of done a lot of, uh, recorded a lot of uh, music. And now we're at that point, as Robert said, you know, that we're releasing music and it feels really great now. So primarily when Lotus started out, it was just me and Sid. And uh, this was, I think, roughly in 2012, where we started actually started, you know, m messing around and experimenting with ideas. And uh, we were having a slight tough time finding other uh, people who would be interested and in a way, in the way, same wavelength as both of us when it came to composing the style of music. And we eventually, what we took our own sweet time, just uh, primarily used um, the guitar to sit and churn out ideas. And eventually we realized, you know what, let's just get everything what we have right now. Let's just sit and uh, take it to our, our friend who is a producer. He's the one who's produced this uh, EP and the he's going to be doing it for the upcoming album as well. So we took all our ideas to him. We uh, He's really good at arranging. Um, so me personally, I'm a bass player with uh, three of the bands that I play. But I also like messing around with the guitar. So this is primarily guitar-driven music and everything else just falls into place around that. And our producer, his name is Shubham. He really helped out in getting uh, the rhythm section on point for it. So not neither of us knows that much about the drums aspect of the music. So in that way, Shubham was pretty helpful and he got to um, 
just getting our ideas in place on from the drums perspective so when you guys went in to uh, start writing together and uh, kind of had this idea of making this EP, what were some of the common influences that you both had? So for us, Lotus has been like this, you know, passion project. And we've always kind of wanted to do so much with our, uh, you know, sound and the kind of music that we heard. So, so our whole uh, perspective of, you know, music was, you know, whatever we would listen, we would just want to, you know, kind of get inspiration from it and make something of our own. But over time, we kind of felt that, you know, uh, that we're trying too hard, if you're getting what I'm saying. So we just kind of, you know, had to unlearn a few things when it come, came to writing music or just thinking about music. And uh, I think we were all going through a lot of things in our lives, in our personal lives, professionally. So uh, we kind of just, you know, let music be that outlet where we just wanted to uh, let our emotions and thought processes out, you know, and convert it into a stream of music and see where it goes. So definitely, you know, uh, emotions, like, you know, uh, the emotional aspect of our lives have, has been a very driving force to write this EP. And the whole perspective of this EP is that, you know, we are now coming, you know, uh, full circle and, uh, yeah, and this was this was one aspect of uh, writing the music. I would say that uh, you know us, you know, get growing up into our shoes and now writing music. Yeah, um, I would like to add to that. Like personally, um, I think between our friend circles, between uh, people that we've generally met over the years, we've seen quite a bit of um, mental health being an issue between a lot of our mutual friends and even with us in a lot of ways uh, where we are in acceptance of the fact that, you know, we might not be happy all the time. And it's just a general way of dealing with that situation that we wanted to imbue into our music, the way we would write, the kind of ideas we would come up with. We would just spend time using conversation as an idea to uh, to influence the kind of music we would make. That makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, as I was listening through the EP, I just felt like, you know, you have to understand for a guy like me having a radio show, I go out and I'm trying to find new music all the time. And I come across a lot of bad stuff. I find a lot of bands that are just reaching for the stars, trying to do something gimmicky, or just in general, they're doing something that's just dishonest. And you can hear right. it. It's like it's a it's a gimmick. It's all just a show. And uh, when I listen through you guys' EP, it sounds like what you guys are playing is honest. It comes from the heart. It's there's emotion, a lot of emotion in it. And I don't mean just like sad emotions. I mean all sorts of emotions. I'm thinking about songs like Intact, and uh, I felt like a lot of it could also fit into like almost soundtrack kind of music. So. Do you guys think that that's where the emotion comes from, is the fact that you are writing from the gut, from the core, like this is coming from your heart? And is was there sort of this, you know, kind of vulnerability that you gave into? Absolutely. I mean, you put it in better words than we actually could. This This is actually what it is to the core, where we have tried, um, there were a lot of times where we ended up looking at other bands and saying, okay, maybe that style would be good, or maybe this style would be good. But eventually, all the songs that ended up coming on the EP, they're just random stuff that we ended up making. And it was, most of the times, it was one person sitting alone in their room where you suddenly end up messing around with a chord progression that sounds very unique to yourself. And you realize, yeah, this was perfect for this time because it actually translates exactly what I was thinking at that time. And it was just uh, hours and hours and hours of that same uh, headspace that got translated into the music itself. And I think that's the same for uh, Siddharth, for Shubham, whenever we all sat and worked on Lotus. And by the way, this EP took a very long time to make. 
so we started uh, composing the music for it i think in early 2018 and we got done with most of it by end of the year and we had already recorded quite a bit of it but what you're hearing right now is actually a lot of changes done here and there and here and there and what we realized is over time that we had spent just thinking and probably overthinking these songs we realized that these songs were actually good to begin with there was no need to sit and rack our heads over uh, why it needed to be changed or what needed to be changed or what and eventually we realized okay let's just put it out it's good for for the time right now it's perfect the way it is the more you overthink it the more it might we might end up messing it up so and i think yeah the, the product that has come out so far is really it's pretty good we are very happy with it and uh, derek i'll just add a couple of uh, lines to what bob said so i'm uh, also really ecstatic about the way you know the end product turned out and uh, I, the fact that you mentioned intact so intact was you know uh, a very simple idea to start with it was just that guitar riff in the beginning and uh, we also started playing with a new tuning so it was a drop d tuning on the guitar uh, where the top string is just tuned down slightly like uh, two steps and uh, we just kind of uh, it just came out like this really simple lick came out and i remember show of of when we were writing music for the ep and this was just one of those ideas that you know it was just it just came out so fluid so fluidly and so fluently now we were like let's just keep writing on this and uh, we've had it to the studio with shobham he arranged the synths and uh, the piano and the drums and bob wrote the bass on it and it just ended up coming out so fluently uh, we couldn't have imagined the song would be sounding like that atmospheric and you know that mellow have that aspect to it so it was definitely one of those very uh, as you said that gut that you know music for writing music from the gut it was exactly like that for us do you guys ever get chills oh yeah in fact <laughs> a lot of times when shubham would come back with um, one of the near final mixes of it it turned out very very different than how we originally imagined any of these songs and we were writing and literally the hair at the back of the neck would stand up listening to that especially if the one of the first listens is on the headphones we would completely zone out from life you know it, it, even if some of the worst uh, like we've dealt with quite a bit of intense personal situations like all of us have everybody deals with very very personal intense situations and sometimes um in the middle of some such situation shobham would send a mix like this and for those 5 minutes you would zone out from everything else and you would just be in awe that oh wow this actually sounds this good so yeah uh, we would we would get uh, small shocks and chills yeah absolutely absolutely uh definitely it gave us you know when we heard the end product of each mix coming out it would make us feel that wow like is this what we are writing because <laughs> you know you never really imagine like you know when you just start writing stuff and things just come out of you know those sessions and you don't really have that uh, perspective or that foresight that how it would really turn out uh, uh, given that you know we're not the best producers per se we're still learning and uh, you know over the lockdown and over this past few years you know we kind of like start to upgrade our skills as you know just recording more music by ourselves but definitely having a good producer gives that edge and it's really important for the producer to understand your sound and where you are going with the music so as to elevate it and get it to that level uh, of where it should be and if that is possible then i feel we have attained a goal uh with our music coming out and people relating to it and relating it to it in a similar way what we felt and how we related to the song and that is according to me like the best compliment or the best the most like 
the heartiest reward uh, that I can get as a musician, you know, uh, of just making that music relatable to someone. So yeah, it was it was definitely it gave us chills, but uh, I'm really glad uh, that you know people like uh, like you mentioned about it and you really liked it and enjoyed it. Uh, it's really heartwarming. We so uh, going back to what you guys were saying before. So all of the drums were programmed by Shubham. Well, then we definitely have to give a shout out and some credit to him because like I've heard a lot of programmed drums that sound terrible, and those drums sound like they were played by a human. So he did a great job, not taking away from your guys' songs, but I think just adding to them. So uh, going into the future for Lotus, are you guys already working on new music? Oh yeah, we've uh, we're in process of writing an album, and uh, awesome. there is, and we now have a vocalist. With we haven't publicly announced this yet, but I guess once this. Uh, Podcast is out. I think everybody would get to know about it. But yes, we have. Uh, we are working with a vocalist, and a lot, not a lot, but I think a couple of the songs that are there on the EP will be there with vocals on the album. And it's it's going to be this similar emotions with a very different character to it. Like it's not going to take away from what this what the song is already providing melodically but it's going to add another level of depth to it because um, our friend Colin is singing on some of the songs and he's he's done an exceptional job with um, taking the music and giving us exactly how we envision the vocals to be exactly that much nothing more nothing less so that's that's going to be a fun collaboration uh, that we're looking forward to and we're waiting to share this with everyone once it's out that's so awesome you guys all heard it here first on the peach pit lotus is working with a vocalist <laughs> it's happening yes. <laughs> what other hobbies do you guys have outside of music uh, I think the music uh, consists of most of our hobbies. I mean, we love to <laughs> we love to travel. We uh, whenever we get the chance outside of whatever little work we have. I mean, I am a full time uh, performing musician. I play for three different bands. So outside of um, so my hobby essentially is my work. But apart from that, I I love to travel if and when I get the chance to. I uh, the only sport I play is basketball, and I love to swim. Outside of that, I don't think I have very many hobbies. Most of my time just goes on the guitar and bass and my laptop. Um, I have also a few hobbies to name a few. I think music is one of those hobbies which I have. I think I have definitely uh, has lasted the longest <laughs> out of all, uh, and it's kind of become more like a passion. Uh, but apart from it, uh, definitely travel. Uh, I love to explore new places, uh, unknown places, and uh, which nobody offbeat kind of locations. And there's a lot, you know, that's out there that you know we. I love to, you know, explore, just to go on a hike or go on a trek. I love running also. That's also like one of my uh, uh, fetishes. Like I love to run, you know, uh, just go out and just, you know have a good run and come back and that, that feeling just you know takes away everything it gives you that feeling of bliss i would say uh, and apart from that definitely like listening to more music new music uh, listening to new bands uh, uh, i would say listening music is to music and playing music i think i think these are two separate things according to me uh, and that uh, one needs to kind of have that headspace to you know or that appetite to consume more music and explore what's uh, beyond their regular tastes. And that's something that's kind of, you know, um, that's a hobby for me as well. So yeah, that's uh, about it for me. Yeah, and I love to eat also. I love to eat a lot of good food. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give to anyone who's trying to achieve their dreams? Um, 
just if you hit a wall push through it that's the the only i mean there might be times where you just don't think it's possible and the world might convince you or situations and circumstances might convince you that you know what maybe it's not worth all the effort you're putting into and despite having spent at least the past 10 years into performing music there are times even now where i'm filled with doubt about it but at the end of the day it's all about your own resilience how much you want it how much you want to go after it and as long as that want is there make the most of it maximize on it i mean that's all the advice that i would give uh derek i'm pretty bad at giving advice <laughs> <laughs> i'm like the worst uh, person you can take advice from because i give genuinely on a lighter note i give very bad advice and suggestions to people to, to my friends close friends but uh, if i were to if i were to make a, a serious give someone insight or give someone perspective to follow their dreams i would just say that uh, to uh, try and achieve what you can to the best of your ability but uh, don't have too high expectations i would say don't expect the moon uh, with what you're doing have uh, zero expectations so that you know you can you know although you can aim for the stars if you don't get the stars you will still be among the clouds and you won't be that disappointed with everything and i feel that's that's the most important thing that you need to learn to give yourself cut yourself some slack and know when to unwind and when to because that is really important for your mental health as well often times people get too ambitious with whatever they want to do and they kind of lose a uh, touch with the more basic things in life like uh, their friends or their family or their uh, relationships for that matter and i think we all go through those phases where we are really 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 focused on what we're doing and we just don't pay attention to the things around us that really need our attention and finally when if you get what you wanted or if you don't get you'll end up realizing that you know it you didn't really get everything that you wanted and you kind of lost something in the way so i think it's important to maintain a healthy balance in life with whatever you have you should be grateful to just have the best of health today and to have a loving family and a supportive family and a good friend circle and uh, i you know idols to look up to and good role models i would say that is the best uh, positive reinforcement that one can have and one should be grateful to have and just you know do something every day incrementally don't don't do too much in the same day just do everything just try to be better by 1% each day that's what i would say that's great that's great great advice guys i really was uh is there anything else that you wanted to say to our listeners uh we really hope you get to enjoy our music and uh we will do whatever it takes to keep getting our music across to you guys thank you for listening um listeners of the peach pit uh this is lotus and we are so happy uh, and so glad to release the cp emergence i hope you guys definitely give it a listen and we have a lot of music that's incoming and we hope you check it out for sure and just keep listening and let us know what you think and i think that's uh that's it from us <laughs> and, and what's the best way for people to stay in touch with what you guys are up to as of now i think instagram and bandcamp and uh, we have a website which we will be uh updating as and when we can but primarily instagram and uh bandcamp is where most of our interaction is going to be on So definitely if anybody wants to be updated with what we are up to you can hit us up over there all of us are on social media now and we're always there to talk about the music so 
looking forward to catching up with you guys over there. Well, thank you so much, you guys. Everyone, you're listening to The Peach Pit. I'm here with Sid and Robert from the band Lotus. Uh, their EP came out June 11th. It's called Emergence. You need to go check it out. It's great, great songs, four awesome tracks. Sid, Robert, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. Thank you, Derek. Thank you for having us here. Thank you, Derek. Really appreciate this. And yeah. Take care of yourselves, guys. Take care, Derek. We'll uh, be in touch. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care, Take care Derek. Have a great day.